Hi everyone, my name is Ify Anyeva and you are welcome to my weekly health vlog. Today I will be talking to you about um, relaxers and how that is associated with fibroids. So the question is, do relaxers actually cause fibroids? A lot of African women um, do use hair relaxers and a lot of us have been using it since we were like, say maybe six, seven, that early. And you do put relaxers at least once a month and, and you leave it on for a while to process your hair. Um, what relaxers do, I'm sure everyone knows, is just straight into your natural hair. Now, these things contain chemicals that even hair industries don't include. We don't know for sure how much chemicals um, we're literally putting on our scalps. So, because if we did, I'm sure like hair companies are out of business. The problem with this is you're exposed to perhaps maybe low concentrations of chemicals that could, could cause damage to your system over time. So think about it this way, you're putting chemicals from the age of seven and you're going to keep doing this till forever because obviously once you start relaxing your hair, it's something that you just keep on doing. The problem with that is that when you expose your body to toxins over a, t a long period of time, these sort of toxins, these sort of chemicals um, that are toxic to your, 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 your system accumulate and could cause so many diseases. Fibroids is so common in the African-American, African or uh, Caribbean um, communities and it actually occurs three times more than it does in, uh, say, the white community. So, so basically, black people, African people are three times more likely to get fibroids than a white person. A study was carried out to try to understand if the relaxers cause fibroids. So the question is, do relaxers actually cause fibroids? Um, there's a new study that's been done in the American Journal of Epidemiology, which has actually linked relaxers to uterine fibroids. So scientists followed more than 23,000 premenopausal black American women from 1997 to 2009 and found that the two to three times higher rate of fibroids among black women may be linked to chemical exposure through scalp lesions and burns which will result from the relaxers. Women who got their first menstrual period before the ages of 10 were also more likely to have uterine fibroids. And early menstruation may result from hair products black girls are using according to a separate study which is actually published in Annals of Epidemiology last summer. So basically, um, they're saying that the use of relaxers are associated with uterine fibroids. Now, when an exposure, in this case the relaxer, is linked to a disease in this situation, uterine fibroids, it's, it's usually a cause for concern. But the study isn't saying that relaxers cause fibroids. It's not like a direct sort of causation relationship. It's generally, if something is linked to a disease, then I would expect that we should all be careful about what we actually put in our scalp. Because if you understood the amount of chemicals that you expose yourself and your family to over a period of time, I don't think that you will be able, you, you wouldn't want to put that, some, that much chemical on, on yourself. But the question still remains, do relaxers cause fibroids? There is an association and if I were you, I will be very careful about what I put in my hair. Chemical companies, they don't actually write out all the information that they put in their, in their product. And I think you should do more research before you put, put stuff on your scalp because there's quite a lot of um, non-communicable diseases that happen, you know, like in, in the global community today, especially cancers. And most of these cancers and most of these things are diseases are, are as a result of, of exposures and toxins and chemicals that we're constantly bombarded with. So when next you see your, your query crack, uh, just think about it for a second if it's actually really worth it to to carry on this way. I know it's not a cause, but scientists usually talk like this. When there is a link, there's generally cause for concern. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time.